I underestimated the soundtrack of Pizza Tower. Yes, I did. I didn't think that this game would have such an interesting and well thought soundtrack. Sure, it's nothing really fancy, it's not the ultimate revelation of music nor video games, but it has a very, very clear and well thought design concept, aesthetic and artistic direction. Even if these themes are not the most complex thing ever to do this, to come up with this for a certain situation, to know exactly what kind of textures, what kind of rhythms and overall music tools you have to use, well, you have to know your shit. If you are new on this channel and are questioning yourself, who the heck is this guy? My name is Julian, I am a professional musician and a studio guitar player who likes to react and analyze video game soundtracks, anime soundtracks, openings, endings, even anime shows, a lot of Japanese music, and today I'm gonna be reacting for the third time to Pizza Tower's soundtrack. I have already reacted to the main theme, it's Pizza Time, The Dead That I Deserve Violi, Bye Bye There, and Pizza Time Never Ends. If you haven't watched those videos, I will leave a link to a playlist with those videos. And today's video is actually a patron request by my patron Bob in the founder tier. You can find the link of my patron page in the description below. In this video, I'm gonna be listening to some of the different themes of the levels of this crazy, very crazy game. And well, I suppose I shall cut the small talk and get actually into this. We have called spaghetti and I hope for sure that this song is not actually like called spaghetti because it's really sad when that shit happens to you. Okay, kind of swingy motif here. Oh! Oh, I see you, I see you, dear composer. Okay. This one is different from other themes. I love that we already have two different organ tones to choose an organ to do this part and choose another different type of organ to complement this music idea. I also love the bass, bro. This one is strong like a rock. Okay. Oh, the main motif. Wow, came back with another kind of effect. I think so, right? This one is different from the one on the of the intro. Oh yes, sir. Oh, bro, it's building some tension. What? what? <laughs> oh, the synthesizer, man. It was like a mini solo. Okay, a spacious section now. Playing with the blue note, okay. I don't know how to feel about this thing, bro. 
listen to the guitar like distortion effect we have the same motive wow getting decomposed we can call it like that really interesting and this theme is actually like called the spaghetti i don't know how to feel about it i don't know it doesn't give you any strong emotion you know like call the spaghetti you won't get the same tasty feeling that you get from eating hot spaghetti and the distortion like guitar effects that were used here are intriguing because in other themes we have listened to much more realistic kind of guitar like effects or maybe even real guitars or something that emulates the sound really really close but this one they didn't care about making that instrument sound realistic it's a clever decision making for the sake of the overall aesthetic they want in this game this retro-ish aesthetic now we have don't preheat your oven because if you do the song won't play what the fuck bro who is deciding the title of these songs man this guy is high as fuck probably and i don't know what the hell is rr breeze raider but it seems that probably this would be the music of an ice level oh, oh. Oh, yes, sir. Notice the difference in the tone of the bass in this one. And these trans keyboards. Oh. Oh, I got to turn it up a little bit. Bro, oh, why is the bass slapping so hard in these past themes, man? I love the electro vibe. I feel at a 2000 rave. Although I never went to one of those because I was a kid back then. Oh. I could keep listening to this all day long, honestly. Wow, we have again another guitar-like effect and it is again different from the tone of the previous theme. This showcases the concern of the creators of making each song different, not only music-wise but from the perception of a producer, of the timbres, of the different effects they use, the equalizations, the mixing also. And this theme is really cool, bruh. No pun intended, actually. But it just keeps you going calmly, casually. I swear I feel at a rave. Pretty soft and brave though, but... Okay, a different section now. 
Bro, this fucking effect so sounds like an alien, like an ovni, like. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. These guys are masters of the tone. Everything is really special, and as I'm telling you, you don't have to be a virtuoso to play or compose or record this, but you have to have a clear concept in your mind, clear ideas. What intrigues me the most is the bass. It would seem that it was played by an actual human because of the accents. Even if you have a machine doing these accents or do it through MIDI or 8 or 16 bit ish sounds, I don't know. I don't think you will get this type of articulation. And again, if this song was used for an ice level, which seems to be the case, it's actually pretty great, you know, because most of those themes of ice levels themes, they are monotonous. And while it may be subjective, you may find this one also monotonous because it keeps almost all the song almost the same keyboard pattern. But I don't know, I don't know if I am biased, but I don't get tired of this one. It is really great to chill out a little bit, you know? Take your head and put it inside the refrigerator and play the song. Best experience in your life, guaranteed. On the rocks. Satan's choice pizza? <laughs> He's even here. What the hell is happening? What does Satan has to do with a game about pizza? Are you telling me pizza is satanic? Maybe the protagonist will have a duel. A pizza duel with the devil. Like in the movie Crossroads. But this is a cuisine challenge. I swear, whoever did this game is even crazier than I am. I swear, man. <laughs> okay. No progression, although. Okay, we have a little bit of swing in this one. Yes, we have. Oh, oh! <laughs> Bro, again, the bass is going so damn hard. Okay, okay. Listen that we have a guitar here, a lead guitar doing some melodies. And it's really contrasting with the other guitar-like effects I told you about. I think this is actually a guitar. It sounds very organic, very realistic. It may have a little bit of some um, vintage effects. Maybe a little bit of chorus also. River, river and chorus, yeah. You can tell that this is a real guitar not only by its tone, but by the way the player is articulating the different notes. Articulation is what makes everything sound more human. We have two keyboards in Oregon and a lead keyboard now. Bro, another synthesizer with again more vintage sounds. We even have percussion, Latin percussion. Like congas? Is this congas? Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you telling me the devil is a Latino? Oh my fucking god. This is a very calm, peaceful, and actually pleasant soundtrack to be the devil's theme in this game or whatever the hell this is. The theme of the devil's level. Listen to this section right here. Ah, 
maybe what I'm about to say is some stupid bullshit, but I think the phrasing of that part with a little bit of swing, it actually feels like the phrasing of an Italian person speaking, bro. Maybe I'm biased because relating pizza to Italy? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what do you think? Does this sound Italian to you or not? Bro, it makes me feel like I am in, I don't know, an old town in Italy in, I don't know, Pisa? In Pisa in the Pizza Tower, bro. Oh, damn. Okay, I see you. You're a fucking genius. Composer, developer, all of you guys are mad geniuses. The way they use layers and layers of different keyboards, bro. Wow. Drives me insane. And tell me about this trumpet like I don't know what else can I relate this sound to but let's say trumpet like keyboard bro it sounds old as fuck Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if any of these levels is actually one of your favorites or of these themes, or even if one of these is one of your least favorite levels and or themes. I have to tell you, usually ice levels are annoying as hell. That may be the case here or maybe not. You tell me and I will leave you with a little hint for the next Pizza Tower video. It's a boss theme, the ultimate boss theme. Cannot say anymore. Thank you again. Have an awesome day, night, whatever it is from the place you're watching this. And see ya. Peace.